This video is the first part of a quality review of the IPCC 6th Assessment Report. Part 1 of the review focuses on the calculation of global warming. The 58th session of the IPCC completed on March 17, 2023. The primary objective of the session was to approve the synthesis report of the 6th Assessment. This report would integrate the findings of the three working group contributions and the three special reports released in 2018 and 2019. These reports included the 2018 special report Global Warming of 1.5 degrees Celsius and the 2021 report The Physical Science Basis. The importance of the synthesis report is difficult to overstate. It is intended to provide policymakers with a high-level, up-to-date understanding of climate change, its impacts and future risks, and options for addressing it. This channel community therefore decided to carry out a quality review of the report in an attempt to ensure that policymakers such as the United Nations Secretary General are being provided with the objective, scientifically accurate information. This video is the first part of our quality review. The subject of part one was not hard to find. It concerns the calculation of global warming, which is contained in practically the first line of the synthesis report. Summary for policymakers. The value of global warming as of end of year 2020 is stated in section A.1, where it is claimed that human activities, principally through emissions of greenhouse gases, have unequivocally caused global warming, with global surface temperature reaching 1.1 degrees Celsius above 1850. To 1900. This statement is repeated in what is termed the Summary for Policymakers' Headline Statements. The target audience of such headline statements are policymakers, such as the United Nations Secretary General, who, in his video to the IPCC 58th session, makes a firm and emphatic claim that the evidence has been clear, convincing and irrefutable. But this channel begs to differ. Our quality review reveals that the IPCC calculation of global warming as of end of year 2020 is clearly and convincingly refutable. In brief, it is quite simply wrong. More than that, the calculation is demonstrably wrong. We will conduct such a demonstration now. We are fortunate in that with the recent extensions to the NOAA data set, we can use this data in our demonstration. NOAA global average temperature anomalies now stretch back to 1850. In order to take advantage of the new data, we first need to know how to calculate global warming as of end of year 2020. For this, we turn to the IPCC. It has provided a very clear and straightforward definition of how to calculate global warming. The definition was set out in the 2018 report, Global Warming of 1.5 degrees Celsius. The importance of the definition ensured that it was treated as one of the core concepts central to the special report. Global warming is defined as the estimated increase in GMST averaged over a 30-year period. It is expressed relative to pre-industrial levels, pre-industrial being the multi-century period prior to around 1750, the reference period 1850 to 1900 is used to approximate pre-industrial GMST. Put simply, to measure global warming for any end of year, we compare 
the average global temperature anomaly of the previous 30 years to the average global temperature anomaly of the period 1850 to 1900. The calculation is therefore the average global temperature anomaly of the selected 30-year period minus the average global temperature anomaly of the period 1850 to 1900. In our quality review, we strictly adopted this technique and calculated global warming as of end of year 2020 using the exact methods specified by the IPCC. What is the average temperature anomaly for the period 1850 to 1900? We downloaded the NOAA data, which is displayed. The average temperature anomaly, which is with respect to the 1901 to 2000 average, is minus 0 0.18 degrees Celsius. What is the average temperature anomaly for the 30-year period prior to and including 2020, that is 1991 to 2020? The NOAA data was again downloaded and displayed. The average temperature anomaly 1991 to 2020 was plus 0 0.63 degrees Celsius. We then followed this rule and subtracted minus 0 0.18 from plus 0 0.63. The result equaled plus 0 0.81. Global warming as of end of year 2020 was therefore calculated as 0 0.81 degrees Celsius using the exact method specified by the IPCC. Global warming at 2020 is therefore not 1.1 degrees Celsius as claimed in the IPCC synthesis report. This claim has been demonstrated to be incorrect. The correct value for global warming as of 2020 is 0 0.81 degree Celsius. And as to these unscientific claims of the United Nations Secretary General, they have been clearly and convincingly refuted. But for a complete understanding, we should look at the margin of error, the percentage error of the miscalculation. The IPCC 1.1 minus the valid 0 0.81 equals 0 0.29. 0 0.29 divided by 0 0.81 multiplied by 100 gives the percentage error of 35.8%. 35.8%. The IPCC AR6 synthesis report therefore exaggerates global warming by a staggering margin of 35%. That is the first and fundamental finding of our quality review of the synthesis report. There are many questions prompted by this finding some of which we will deal with in later videos, but the next step of this first review is to ask the basic question, how did this incorrect measurement of global warming as of end of year 2020 come about? The answer is quite simple, but deeply disturbing. The miscalculation came about because the IPCC flagrantly failed to follow its own rule of using a 30-year period to measure global warming. Instead, it used a 10-year period. We can only conclude that this was not a mistake, but it was a deliberate and dangerous exaggeration directed at policymakers around the world a later video will amplify this theme, but for now we concentrate on a specific and enormous impact of this miscalculation. The IPCC 2023 synthesis report overstates global warming by 35% is one thing, 
But what is the impact of this error on the IPCC future climate change projection? In both the 2018 and 2021 reports, this projection was made. Global warming is likely to reach 1.5 degrees Celsius between 2030 and 2052 if it continues to increase at the current rate. But if the calculation of global warming is wrong, then this projection must be wrong. We will be able to see how the IPCC handles that issue when we examine the Synthesis Report Section B, Future Climate Change Risks and Long-Term Responses. That will form part two of this quality review. For now, we leave you with the conclusion of our quality review part one. If you enjoyed this video, you are invited to join our community on locals.com. This link will take you directly to our site.